Hey there, I'm Natalie McNeil and this is my Dear Natalie series where I am taking your burning questions about really anything related to your business, your life, a challenge that you're going through right now. You can write to me at dearnatalie at shetakesontheworld.com and your question might be featured in an upcoming episode of Dear Natalie. So our question today comes from D, and the question is, Dear Natalie, as I try to take my business to the next level, I've been looking at successful people and their lifestyles, from their morning routines to what they eat to how they unwind. Basically, I want to know all the things. I'm wondering, do you have a routine you follow or a practice that you can't live without? Thanks, Natalie. D. I love this question and you've probably heard me talk about habits and rituals a lot if you've been following She Takes on the World for a little while. And if you're brand new, this is a topic that we do cover a lot and that I will be diving into more in the future. So there's this author, Thomas Corley, and he did a study of millionaires. He studied 177 millionaires and he wanted to figure out what they did differently, what their habits and their rituals were. And he found that over half of them were up three hours before they actually started their day and dove into their work. They were up for three hours just going through their routine or their own ritual that they had created. So. I want you to think about what that might look like in your life. And yes, I do have my own ritual. I will admit that I'm not up three hours before I start my workday, but what I do in those first three hours, I think is the foundation for my entire day. So here's how it starts. And I've talked about a lot of this before, but I think it's worth sharing again. So in the morning, when my alarm goes off, my alarm is not one of those uh, 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 sounds. My alarm is a song that I will kind of start dancing to before I'm even out of bed. I'll start dancing and stretching and just moving my body and doing some breath work because that wakes up my, my body, not just my body, but my entire being. And then after that, I roll onto my yoga mat, which I keep right beside my bed. So I would have to like step on it to actually get up. And that's a reminder to just do that routine. And at this point, I'm starting to feel really good because I'm, I'm waking up and I'm ready to go and make my green juice and drink some water and have some tea. And those are all things that really ground me into my morning. I do not go on my phone at this point. So it's all about just getting myself centered and ready to go and start my day. And that's my morning routine. So it doesn't take three hours like Thomas Corley found with millionaires who have these long morning rituals, but I will in those first three hours make sure I'm getting done the most important thing that I need to get done in the day and connecting with my team. So once I am grounded and once I feel ready to go and dive into work, instead of diving into my inbox, I am instead either talking to my team about what we need to get done that day or I'm just getting that most important thing done. You've probably heard of this concept of eating the frog. So getting that big pesky task done first thing in the morning. And that's what I would recommend for you as well. So just think about what that, that is for you. You know, if you are going to spend three hours getting ready to dive into your day, what might that look like? When I was on Necker Island, Richard Branson's private island, he was up and down at tennis every morning at like 6 a.m., early riser, exercise first thing in the morning, and then diving into his most important work. And I thought that that was really interesting. And he has a lot of really cool habits and routines, as do a lot of really successful people, as you mentioned. So I think one of the things to keep in mind too is that you've got to design a ritual that works for you. So what works for me may not work for you. What works for Richard Branson may not work for all of us. And I'm not a believer in 
trying to force yourself into a container that isn't fitting for you. So if you don't like getting up in the morning really, really early, if that's not when you do your most creative and productive work, don't try to force that on yourself. I used to do that all the time. I used to think that I needed to get up so early in the morning because I heard that really successful people get up really, really early and that just didn't work for me. I like to write really late at night and that's actually when I get my creative surges and that's just what works for me. So you've got to find what works for you and sure I can share and you can read about all these successful people and what they do, but take pieces of those and make your own ritual. So D, I hope that that answers your question and serves you. And for all of you watching, if you want one of your questions answered by me in an upcoming episode, you can write to me at dearnatalie at shetakesontheworld.com. And if this did serve you, make sure you come on over and visit us at shetakesontheworld.com because we've got so many more videos and a lot of free resources that go with our videos, free downloads. So you don't want to miss all that. So come on over to shetakesontheworld.com, like this video, share it with a friend who might benefit from it today, and I will see you next time.